duty 40 under the ramp. I'm going to try and lower the engine into position. There's the uh, Granada engine. What I've done is um, welded a temporary bar on the bolt holes either side so I can rest the engine on it and jack it up into position. Uh, get the engine back where I'm working on it originally. Uh, fabricate up the engine mounts. making the um, engine mounts, just welding the tube on that takes the this component here which is a, a rear spring I put. That's the um, engine mount mounted on the chassis. Now I've got to make a plate which will uh, take it onto the engine. I've got to create some uh, mounts. That's one of them. That's tapped on in with a welder and it's going to be drilled and tapped to the uh, bolted to the big plate. We're now going to drill it out to an 8.5mm which is tapping for a 10mm bolt. Slow process tapping this. I can't get a proper tap wrench on it. The uh, main engine load is take on those wheel cup type cross members. And also, at the back of the car, we've got these engine mounts um, taking the gearbox. So, in fact, there's three mounts supporting the um, complete engine and gearbox unit. I think we've got a slight problem here. This is the cross member which bolts in so you can take the engine out. And I take it out of position. And that's bolted in through these holes here. Unfortunately, you can't get at them without taking the suspension off. So it means you've got to unship the rear suspension, take the engine out. So what I'm going to do is see if I can weld the plate inside, it's held in by the clamps, and tap it, thereby hold the cross member in with a couple of bolts which you can get out in and out easily without taking suspension off. Modifying the cross member. And weld that plate on the end, which will give me better mounting position. I've now got to drill through and pile it to get the drill in line with the tap holes here. So what I've done is a little stud which goes in the thread and I've drilled a hole in the middle as a jig so I can get the put the drill in without damaging the thread hopefully and that screws in there that might be a little bit better <laughs> we're now into um, a bit of wiring you see harnesses everywhere Modifications because the original harness had a lot of mistakes in it, but also we're um, putting one or two changes in it. But before you start doing anything, you have to draw yourself a circuit diagram, and this is uh, the centre loom drawn on CAD. There's no diagram provided with the harness, so you have to start from scratch. And as you can see from this, uh, there's been quite a few modifications in the last few days, adding bits, taking bits away and finding bits were wrong and correcting them. Now I'm having to do this because the wiper motor is not in the same place as uh, Mick has got it. Start fitting some of the dials, cut the holes out earlier on. <coughs> now laid the harness in. I'm debating whether to run the main harness along the top instead of diving it down underneath these instruments. Now for a bit of <coughs> gymnastics to try and get the pipes on. 
Well, that dashboard is now in with all the connectors connected up to the front and the aircon hose is connected up as well. So now we move on to, towards the back of the car, put the sills on and put the rear harness on, hopefully. I see the um, brake pipes and the black pipe carrying the battery cable running on the sill. I've got the offside sill roughly put on using five screws. I'm just marking out the sill to trim it off. Down to various rose joints. And some rod. It works okay, but there's a few adjustments to do to it, I think. The, the in and the out movement is done by this rod going backwards and forwards, and the twisting movement is by rotation there. That's the rod rotating. This rod goes forward, another rose joint, and a universal joint, and then is transmitted on under the oil filter through to the sill and runs inside this housing to the gear lever there. You now see where the linkage comes through from the uh, back part of the car through to a gear lever there. There's a universal joint at the bottom which gives it forward and aft and sideways movement without allowing to rotate. I've now formed this panel, uh, roughly. It should fit there. Now moving on to the radiator. These have been fitted, we've got to take them off to do some more work on it. The front one is the air conditioning radiator. Now we've now got the um, air conditioning unit mounted in the car. A bit of work on the panel that takes the uh, master cylinders. That's another view of the air conditioning unit in place. Starting to think about windscreen wipers, motor there, rack. Uh, quite a lot further on now, we've uh, got the uh, front end just about complete. As you can see, battery in place, although it's a mock-up. Air conditioning pipes and uh, filter in place, relays, harness, uh, master cylinder piped up, reservoirs in position but not finally bolted down. Hydraulics front and rear on. Air conditioning unit mounted, not piped up permanently yet. Heater pipes on as well, you can see the pipes going down through the sill there. Through the back of the car, you see the gear change mechanism. And now I've got a problem. You see there, that's the pivot for the rear of the car. We have to bolt this aluminium plate onto the bodywork. It has a slot in, uh, so when you lift the back up, and then you can raise it vertically upwards to detach the back from the car. Put the brackets on the back onto these there and there. And at that stage, I realised these this cross frame at the back was about 30 mil out of square. There. So I've now had to angle grind these brackets off, weld them in a new position, and I'm about to angle grind that one off, do the same thing, and then I'll try the back again and see if it looks any better. This bracket here. Everything's correct, the bonnet's in the right place, but this is too far inboard to the uh, open position. So I'm going to have to grind it off, move it out about 6mm. So I'm drilling some holes so I can locate it in the correct position when I re-weld it. A wee bit of welding. Well, 
Now the moment of truth. 